$5,000 is available from the City of Melbourne for their Small Business Transformation Grants. This is the second time this style of grant has come out from the City of Melbourne. Um, there was a, a round a few months ago. It's come out again, up to $5,000 available. I thought I would step through the application to give you some tips on how to apply and how to increase your chances of getting this grant. So if you Google the Small Business Transformation Grant, the City of Melbourne website should come up. And uh, as you can see here, it's $5,000 uh, is available. Applications close next week on the 3rd. So there isn't much time for this grant. Um, so I suggest you start early. Um, if you rush, it's not gonna look very good. So it's only for limited suburbs within the city of Melbourne. So the CBD, um, South Bank, Docklands, and the World Tr Trade Center. So you would know uh, if your postcodes, whether you fit within that, you know, places um, like, you know, Parkville or North Melbourne would be uh, outside and ineligible. So uh, if we scroll down, um, also there's a grant tip writing um, seminar on Wednesday. So make sure you sign up for that. You can also get um, um, some advice from the Small Business Mentoring Service as well to actually help you write your grant application. So definitely sign up for that. I think it's the first 250 uh, applications. So what are they looking for? So it's always important to look at the objectives uh, with the grants and to make sure that your project is meeting those objectives. So small business bricks and mortar, um, employed business, so that's important. You uh, have to be employing staff. Um, and it's to adapt and trade through the city. So think about um, taking your business online. If you're not online, then this grant is for you to help you get online. And then the second uh, part that you could be applying for is the reactivation. So this is if you're a bricks and mortar and it's about getting people into the city, um, new COVID safe activations. So um, it might be those display shields or, or things like that to, to get those, um, to get people in, in, a, in a COVID safe environment. Uh, and so what will that, they fund $5,000, design, implement new and innovative ideas to help deliver fundamental change in your business. This is about transforming your business um, and becoming viable and sustainable um, in a post COVID or might be COVID-19 world for the, you know, the next two years. So how will your business adapt to that? Um, and then once again, the other part was how to bring customers back to the city uh, to deliver benefits to the city. This is gonna be a hard one because not many people are gonna be coming back into the city. So if, I, if it was me, I would focus on the first part of this application. Okay, and so if we scroll through, you can click on the uh, apply now. So hit apply now, that will click you through to this page or this page here. And okay, so I've started this application and um, this goes for instructions, eligibility. So no more than 50 employees, you must have an ABN um, and, uh, and physically located within um, the, the boundaries of those suburbs. Um, and if you're in a co-working space like I am, then you need to make sure that you can demonstrate that you are in the co-working space um, at least 50% of the year. Um, okay, so ineligible um, non-employing businesses. So if you're a sole trader, I'm sorry, you cannot get this grant. Um, and so let's just step through. Uh, I reviewed, understood the eligibility. Yes. Where are, what suburb you in? Yes. You're in the JobKeeper. Uh, make sure you're in the JobKeeper. Otherwise, I'm sorry, you can't get this grant. Okay, next page. So business name, trading name, a brief summary of your business activities. Um, try to use the 200 words, make it clear, make it simple, use dot points. Um, don't use you know, big, long, long sounding words. Try to be you know very elaborate, just be very simple. Okay, so between one to 50 staff, make sure you have that. Um, if you lie, then you'll be asked to prove it you know, down the track. So it might as well just be accurate now. Um, so what industry are you in? They'll obviously want to you know, look at a few different types of industries to help to see who they're going to support. Okay, next page. This is about your proposal. So once again, the adaption and activation. 
um, are the two areas they want you to focus on. Um, you've only got 250 words. I would focus on one, not both. Um, and it's only $5,000, so $5,000 isn't going to go very far if you spread it across adaption and activation. Okay, so put your um, project start date. Um, I normally start a f you know at least a month after the, the due date um, because they won't have reviewed it in that time. And then make sure your completion date is before the end, and the end is the 31st of March. Um, okay, intended outcomes. This these two areas are the main ones where you need to be very strong and to the point about what you're going to do. So describe your adaption proposal and the new revenue streams. So you're going to take your business from a bricks and mortar and put it online. So you need to look at you know, what's it going to cost to put up a web store, to get it hosted, to get it designed and get it integrated into your website. There may be some adaption for your Facebook or Instagram. You might not have set those pages up. You might need help with that. And then you might need to integrate your web store into those platforms to help your customers buy. You might need to get a CRM to get your um, information from your customers into those databases. And so the outcomes, what tangible benefits and opportunities will your proposal provide for other businesses? In the city of Melbourne, so uh, I'm considering doing an application for this one. I do a lot of uh, R&D tax incentive lodgements, so I thought normally that's you know, it's a face to face, um, and a lot of businesses are struggling. How can I help them? So I might produce a lower cost product or service that that will help them step through. It's a more of a guide, and they can step through each part of the application. And you know, here might be a video for. You know, progressing that application, and then here's some templates. So providing all that information for them um, to a lower cost. So that will help other businesses in the city of Melbourne. So look at how you're going to help other businesses uh, within those suburbs as well. Okay, so those are the two main areas that you should focus your attention on because there isn't many uh, other areas to focus on. So there we come down to the cost and expenditure. So Detail as many items as you can um, for your project. If you just said $5,000 for e-commerce, it's going to be rejected. They want you to dot the I's and cross the T's. They want you to be what's called shovel ready. So you have all of your information ready to go, all of your quotes. You're very diligent, and then all you need to do is pull the trigger, not come up with some airy-fairy numbers like, oh, it's approximately this, because that may you know fall down. Um, so break it up to as many as possible. If you can provide some of the, the funding yourself, that's going to look better. It's a better return on investment for um, the city of Melbourne. So detail that. Don't end in a round number. Don't do what I did. Don't put $1,000. Yeah, it's 859 and 36 cents because that's exactly what matches the quote you've been given. Okay, and then total project cost. Um, if you ask for exactly $5,000, that might be fine because it might cost you $6,500 to complete the project. So don't feel bad about asking for $5,000. do not feel you need to go to have to put in $4,999 because it, it's really irrelevant at the end of the day. Um, and then so other funding sources. So if you've got, you know, you need to get extra money from investors or shareholders or the bank, make sure you include that uh, in the application. Um, um, status of funding, it always looks good if you've got the money in hand. So if you say in progress, it adds doubt to your application. So always say yes, that you have the money. Even if you want to use a different form of money in the future, that's fine. You might have $5,000 sitting in your term deposit or in your, in your home loan. You don't need to use that money. But if you say you've got the money, it de-risks the application. Okay, and we move on to what's the section? Section five, other considerations and documentation. Preference will be given to applications that demonstrate sustainable business practices. This is more of a tick box. Um, fill it out, but it's, it's not the, the core focus of the application. Um, what are your contingencies for COVID related restrictions that may arise? So, once again, go online, don't rely on, on bricks and mortar. Um, you know, e commerce, it's Engaging with your customers that may be everywhere. Um, 
this COVID restrictions may go on. It may be, you know, locked down, out of lockdown. We may be oscillating for a number of years. So online is the best way to go with this application. And then, um, this is a good point here, a well-supported application needs to include documentary evidence to support the proposal. So if you want to do a quick tick and flick application, you wouldn't put any of this in. And many people have been rejected because they didn't include any of this information. So go and get your quotes. Now is the time to do it um, and help out the people that are writing this quote. You might need to provide the exact specification so you can get a quick turnaround time. So um, you know, tell them that they may not be bound to provide the service exactly as detailed, but it's important you get a quote in for this application. Um, once again, you're de-risking the process. You look like you are ready and committed to undertake this project. So put as many documents as you can in. Um, and we've got here quotes, timelines, images, financial information, supporting letters, marketing research. So as many of those as possible to show you have done your research. Um, what I haven't mentioned here is if you can quantify the benefit that you're going to get for doing this, so you know you have surveyed all of your customers and you've said that you want to take your web, web you know, your, sorry, your bricks and mortar business, you might be, um, let's think of something like a, a beautician or you might make jewellery and people used to come in and buy your jewellery. If you survey all your customers this week and turn it around in 24 hours and say, hey, we need your help to get this grant. If we set up a, a web store, would you buy from us? Um, and here's a sample of what you buy. And if you come back and say, yes, of our 5,000 um, you know, customers that regularly come and see us, 400 said that they would buy from us. That is a tangible, that is quantifiable, and you can work out you know, how much return that would be for you in the first six months to make you sustainable. So that is sort of information that I would put in an application like this. Financial information, put in your P&L, put in your um, uh, letters of support from people that, from customers. Um, any marketing or research you've, you've done around this. Um, put together a Gantt chart. If you don't know what a Gantt chart is, it's basically you know what you're doing at each step along the way in the project. Make it look like you have thought about this and you've put a lot of uh, attention into it. Um, a tick and flick with nothing will not, will not get funded. It might get funded, but high chance that it won't get funded when it stacks up against an application that has all that information. And then we are in the contact details and you just complete it all. Um, if you've got social media, put that in, but there's really not much information you need to include in this. It's really in the other information. So um, I've talked that through in probably half an hour. Um, I would allow you know, one hour to basically go through this application now and then maybe two or three hours in getting that necessary information, getting the quotes, proving that this adaption is going to help transform your business. The best of luck with your application.